Chapter 7. Well, he tried, Uncle Warren said, laying his hand on Forrest's shoulder. I know I can't expect Worlaway to win every race, Forrest agreed, but he's never run this poorly. Can we go see him? Tink asked. Sure, Forrest said, checking his watch. Meet us back here in about 15 minutes. The kids clambered down the grandstand steps and ran toward the barns. They entered Barn E and walked past curious horses peering from stalls. There's Worlaway, Josh said, pointing. The horse, slick with sweat, was tied outside stall 21. Sonny was wiping him down with towels. Sonny looked up and nodded at the kids. I'm sorry you didn't win, Ruth Rose said. Not as sorry as I am, Sonny muttered. Her outfit was filthy. She hung... She had removed her helmet, and her hair hung down, damp and straggly. Where, where her goggles had been, her face was clean. The rest was smeared with sweat and track grime. Her once shiny black boots were now brown with dust. Sunny knelt down and began unwinding the tape from Whirlaway's legs. The tape was grimy. Sunny shook her head as she worked. Whirlaway was running like a different horse, she said. She walked away to find a trash can from the soiled tapes, for the soiled tapes, leaving Whirlaway tied to his stall. Maybe Whirlaway was just tired, Dink said. Maybe, Ruth Rose agreed, but jockeys can make horses go slower. Josh looked at Ruth Rose. You think Sunny made Whirlaway lose the race? Ruth Rose shrugged. I don't know. Sunny came back and untied Whirlaway. She had to tug him up the ramp. He rolled his eyes as she walked him into the trailer. Sunny closed and latched the trailer door. Without saying a word, she climbed into the cab and drove away. Something weird is definitely going on between Whirlaway and Sunny, Ruth Rose said. Whirlaway might just be having a bad day, Dink said. Ruth Rose looked at her watch. We better get back. They started walking toward the viewing stands. Dink noticed a small group of people gathered around a dark horse and its rider. There's the winner, he said. Yeah, dancer, said Josh. I want to get a picture, Ruth Rose said. The kids walked to the winner's circle. They wiggled through the crowd until they were standing next to Dancer. Dancer's chest and legs were sweaty. The white tape that covered his ankles was dirty. The jockey was dirty, too. He smiled as people took pictures. A man wearing a cowboy hat and dark glasses reached up and shook the jockey's hand. Well done, Andy, he said. Piece of cake, Mr. Beast, the jockey answered. Guys, move out, move closer, Ruth Rose said. I want to get a picture of you and Dancer. Dink and Josh stepped over and stood in front of Dancer. Josh giggled when the horse butted him gently in the back. The jockey flicked the reins and Dancer put his head between Dink's and Josh's shoulders. Ruth Rose snapped the picture. Her camera made a whirling noise, letting her know that the roll of film had run out. Dink looked at his watch. Come on, guys. They're waiting for us. They hurried away and found Forrest and Uncle Warren in the viewing box. How does Whirlaway look? Forrest asked. Tired, Josh said. Sonny loaded him and they took off. I guess we'd better leave too, Forrest said. They headed for the parking lot. Dink, Josh, and Ruth Rose walked behind Forrest and Uncle Warren. Ruth Rose held up her camera. I can't wait to get my film developed, she whispered. I think that last picture is a big clue.